You know, when it comes to video editing, a lot of us have desktops that we use to do our video editing with, and a lot of them have nice little coolers, like mine has uh, two forward-facing fans, it's got a rear fan, and then it's got a little liquid cooler on the CPU, which is all really nice. The GPU's got fans in it, but sometimes we use our laptops, and I use my laptop a lot when I go out of town to do video editing with, and as us laptop owners know, when you video edit 4K footage especially, it's really hard on a laptop and it causes it to get really, really hot. And heat is probably the number one thing that can actually damage your laptop after prolonged use. Today I'm going to show you something that has the ability to cool down your laptop. Is it a gimmick or does it really work? We're going to find out. So like I said, we're going to try to see if this actual laptop cooler, it's kind of a cooling base. It has six fans on it, just to tell you. It has some RGB lights that go up the side that you can customize to your own liking. You know, and RGB lights are very cool. My uh, laptop has RGB lighting on the keyboard. My desktop, I've got an RGB gaming uh, keyboard and it's got RGB lights in it. And it's, it's neat to look at. Uh, even my desktop computer's got RGB lights on the fan and on the CPU cooler and on the front fans and the outer housing. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what that bright light is right there, I'm doing a uh, longevity test or a test on a LED light panel that was sent to me. I want to see how long it's going to stay at 100% brightness before it dies out. But anyway, let's get into this. I'm going to do some pressure testing. And what I mean by pressure testing, I'm going to do it on my laptop. I'm going to edit some 4K footage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it first off without any fan. I'm going to have the laptop on for about 15 minutes, just stationary. So it's kind of reached its operating temperature. I'm going to put a 4K clip onto Premiere Pro and... Add a little bit of color to it so that we've got some coloring added to it just so it gets the GPU a little bit more involved and then I'm going to render out that footage we're going to pay attention to CPU temperature and also GPU temperature and then I'm going to give the laptop an opportunity to kind of cool down after 15 20 minutes and then repeat the same render again but this time with this cooling base for your laptop and I'm going to have it on its high setting it says it's at 2,900 RPMs. 70 CFM is what this blows out. Not a whole lot if you really think about wind and how much air movement that you get. So we'll see what this test result looks like and then I'm gonna come back and give you my final thoughts on this. Okay, so let's take a look at and see. Right now I've got a 4K clip on the timeline and I've got this laptop cooler actually set to off right now. And we'll take a look at what the temps are. Let's see, on the CPU, we've got 54 degrees Celsius, GPU 49 degrees Celsius, 53, 49, 54, and we haven't done anything. So right now, like I said, I've got the laptop fan off right now. So let's go ahead and render this out. We'll just call this, uh, let's say, test one on this 4K clip. Render at maximum. And we'll do this at a constant bit rate of, let's say, 40 megabits per second. And then we'll render this out. As this starts rendering, should start getting a load on the CPU and on the GPU. Add a little bit of uh, color enhancement to the video, so it should give us a rough idea of just what the laptop does on its own when it's rendering a video. And we'll just kind of pay attention to the CPU temp and also to the GPU temperature. We're up to 69, 71 degrees Celsius, 69 again. GPU sitting at 61, pretty stable. 
I can hear the fan starting to really blow hard out of the laptop. Should be just about close out. Let's see how we're doing. Nope, not yet. 74 degrees Celsius. Oop, went up to 77 degrees red. Seventy-eight degrees Celsius. It's on that one core. I'm gonna stick with just looking at the first core. You can see the CPU is definitely getting warm. And that should have finished out. And it did. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just let the laptop just kind of sit and cool down for a little bit and then I'll redo this with uh, the cooler on just to see if it does impact the CPU and GPU temperatures. All right, it's been about uh, 15, 20 minutes since I did the last initial test. So we're at 53 degrees Celsius on the CPU, 48 degrees on the GPU. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to render out this same footage. We'll do this as, we'll call this test two. And everything should still be the same. What I'm going to do is turn on the fan with this laptop motor, turn it up to three, which shows, I believe, 2,900 RPMs. And what we'll do is we'll hit export and then we'll watch and see if the temperatures actually stay below the red on the CPU and watch what the GPU does. Now keep in mind, I did not turn on the laptop base fan ahead of time to help with cooling. I just started the render, or actually, I just turned on the fan and then started the render. So there should be a fair comparison between the two with the laptop cooler and without. Punched up to 80 degrees Celsius there. Seventy-five. GPU is at sixty-four degrees Celsius. And like I said, I'm keeping track of core number one. Six back down to seventy three. Seventy six degrees. Now I went to red, back down. Also, when I review this, I'm gonna kind of keep track on the CPU 
megahertz, what it's running at. Looks like this is complete now. Yep, this video is complete. So that was the 4K footage from that. Close out Premiere Pro. Now, even though I've just closed out Premiere Pro, the CPU temp just spiked up to 80 degrees Celsius real quick. And this is with the base fan on for the laptop cooler. So is this gimmicky? Well, let me stick this into the computer and just kind of take a look at how many times it spiked without the cooler and how many times it spiked in the red temperature with the cooler to kind of give it a, an honest opinion about is this something that's just straight up gimmicky or does it have some actual value to it? Well, you know, after looking at the footage and seeing how it performed, is it gimmicky or is it an actual device that you can actually use that's going to give you some optimal airflow? Now, when I said 70 CFM, to me, 70 CFM did not seem like it's a lot of CFM, a lot of air movement. But upon some research, 70 CFM seems to be a good amount of air movement, giving how much static pressure that you have within a confined space. So. It could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. When you look at the footage, without using the laptop cooler, I got five different occurrences where the CPO temperature had actually went into the red. And then when I use the laptop cooler, same thing happened. Five instances where the CPU actually got into the red. So the temperatures were pretty much identical between the two. So did I find it beneficial? No, not really. I mean, so in my humble opinion, and I'm sure that there are laptop coolers out there that are actually very, very efficient at cooling off the bottom of your laptop, right where your CPU and GPU are. But in this instance, to me, it's a little bit gimmicky. I did not see any improvement, especially if you're going to be editing 4K footage, which is a pretty big requirement on the CPU and GPU of your computer, especially considering a laptop, you don't have a whole lot of space and a whole lot of air movement that the internal fan can already do. So to me, it's gimmicky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this thing away. It's not going to be able to work for the uses that I need it for, but it may work for one of you out there. By the way, that light is still going it's been over three three hours 20 minutes and it's still going it's starting to dim down a little bit but that's impressive so i'll tell you what if you're interested in getting this laptop cooler i will ship it within the continental united states on my dime but what i'd like for you to do is first off be a subscriber okay click on that little subscribe button click on the bell so that you get notified about my future videos but also in the comment section below, tell me why you would like to be picked to receive this laptop cooler. Tell me why you need it for, or tell me what you need it for. What would you use it for? Is it just for the cool RGB lights? Tell me in the comment section below. As always, I'll put a product link in the description below so that you can check it out for yourself. It may be something that you are interested in using. Maybe if you're doing 1080p footage, I wanted to do an extreme 4K footage just to see if it helped or not. But anyway, if you want it, put it down below. The comments in the first 48 hours that you comment below will automatically get you entered in. And then I'll do a quick little uh, uh, drawing video in three days from now. Today is Thursday, so I'll do it. I'll do the drawing video on Sunday so that you can see it for yourself. I'll do a video on Sunday announcing who the winner is going to be. And then I'll put that video in the community tab. So how are you going to know about the community tab? Well, you got to be a subscriber because when you're subscribed and you click on that little bell notification, every time I post up something in the community tab, you get notified and you'll have 24 hours to contact me 
at the email address right here to let me know that uh, you are the winner. I need your shipping information and then I'll send it out to you. And until the next video, I hope you guys have yourself a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. You know, a lot of us, we do our, our about five, four, three, two, one. You know, when it comes to doing your video editing, a lot of us, they, five, four, God damn, Andre, come on.